Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labour of your hands you shall eat. Blessed are you and blessed will you be. Alleluia. Today, the 1st of May, we join together for Holy Mass in celebrating the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. The Holy Mass is offered for the repose of the souls of John and Pat Moon and Valerie Griggs. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Over all these clothes, to keep them together and complete them, put on love. And may the peace of Christ reign in your hearts, because it is for this that you were called together as parts of one body. Always be thankful. Never say or do anything except in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Whatever your work is, put your heart into it, as if it were for the Lord and not for men, knowing that the Lord will repay you by making you his heirs. It is Christ the Lord that you are serving. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Before the mountains were born or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning or end. You turn men back into dust and say, Go back, sons of men. To your eyes a thousand years are like yesterday, come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. Make us know the shortness of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent, is your anger forever. Show pity to your servants. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice in your all our days. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Lord be blessed day after day. He bears our, bird, bears our burdens, God our Saviour. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his hometown and taught the people in their synagogue in such a way that they were astonished and said, Where did the man get this wisdom and these miraculous powers? This is the carpenter's son, surely. Is not his mother the woman called Mary? And his brothers James and Joseph and Simon and Jude, his sisters too, are they not all here with us? So where did the man get it all? 
and they would not accept him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is only despised in his own country and in his own house. And he did not work any miracles there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The memorial today of St. Joseph the Worker has been celebrated in the Church's liturgy since 1955. And on this day, the Church inspired by St. Joseph's example and under his patronage, commemorates in a special way the human and supernatural value of all work. Because all work is a collaboration in God's own work of creation. And through Jesus Christ, in accordance with our love of God and for our fellow men and women, it becomes a source of true prayer and service of others. In the introit of the Mass, the entry antiphon, we hear the words from the psalm, By the labour of your hands you shall eat. The Church, in presenting St. Joseph to us today as a model, isn't endorsing one particular form of work, i.e. manual labour, but it is testifying to the dignity and the value of all human occupations which are done honestly and with integrity. For many centuries, manual work, of course, was looked down upon as no more than a way of earning a living and was considered to be basically something worthless or degrading. And nowadays, too, a more materialistic society tends to classify people according to how much they make, their material wealth, and their ability to obtain a greater level of well-being at more or less any cost. The Christian teaching about human work is that it's given to us not just to earn a living, but it's a means to our holiness. In the Gospel of today's Mass, we see once again how our Lord Jesus is identified in Nazareth by his occupation. Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary? And when he returned to his native town, the neighbours remarked, Is this not the carpenter's son? Is not this his mother called Mary? And in another place it says that Jesus practised the same profession as St. Joseph, the man who occupied the place of his father here on earth. So man's work is being taken up by the Son of God and sanctified and made something redemptive. As the Second Vatican Council reminds us in Gaudium et Spes, man is now associated with the work of redemption brought by Christ, whose labour, with his hands at Nazareth, greatly ennobled the dignity of work. Well, today on this feast of St. Joseph the Worker, perhaps we need to think about all those who undertake human work in whatever form, and to remind ourselves that all human work has got a value. No human work, if it's done with perfection and with love of God, has got greater value than any other. And perhaps in these days especially, we need to think about those who are working for us quietly, as society is kind of put on pause. We need the Prime Minister and the Cabinet Ministers just as much as we need the healthcare workers, all those who supply our food, those who provide our utilities, those who provide all those unseen but essential services. We think about them and give thanks to God for their human work today. We also think about those who have no work, those who are unemployed, those who can't find work, those who have been made redundant as a result of this pandemic, and therefore those who have no money, no food to which they can have access, no food for their families, 
and sometimes barely a roof over their heads, we think of the homeless too, for whatever reason. And we ask St. Joseph's intercession for all of these, that they may find work, that they may have their human dignity always protected and respected by us who understand and promote that dignity of human life as something at the very core of our faith. Today we begin the month, of course, of May, the month of our Blessed Mother. So let's go to her today with St. Joseph and ask that drawn into that love of the Holy Family, that domestic half where human work and the value of life was so upheld that we too may learn by their example to live and to work every moment of every day in God's presence. My dear friends, let us now turn graciously to God through the intercession of his foster father, St. Joseph, for some of those things that we most need. Let us pray for all those who live the vocation of human work in whatever form, that all of us may learn to do our work well for the glory of God and for the salvation of our souls. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who work for our good in society, those who look after the health of society in these days, those who provide our food, those who provide the utilities that make life possible, that God may reward them for their continuing hard work and generosity. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who work in education, that under the example and protection of St. Joseph, we may learn through our work to draw closer to the heart of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick and the suffering today, especially those within our own parish family who are sick, suffering, isolated, alone, and feeling the burden of all those issues that these days have brought with them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, who know our cares in these days, hear the desires of all who call to you through the intercession of St. Joseph and receive these petitions that we graciously place before you through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all those who hold unto the truth, and on the Catholic and Apostolic faith, remember, Lord, your servants. And all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, while they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true, in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious, ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph as spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Clatus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Sipley, and Laurence Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos, and Damien, and all your saints. We ask that through your merits and prayers and all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. And with eyes raised to heaven, to your regard, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice, his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, 
and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them, as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, in all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light and peace. To us also, your servants, who though sinners hope in your abundant mercies, Graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them. Fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper 
of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. spiritual communion I wish Lord to receive you now with the purity humility and devotion with which your most holy mother received you and with the spirit and fervour of the saints Whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God through him. Alleluia. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by the example of St. Joseph, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, today is the first Friday of the month, and so we have the usual holy hour this evening, but at the earlier hour of between 7 and 8, concluding with benediction. And for all of the weekday evenings of May, beginning this evening at 6 o'clock, there will be the Holy Rosary prayed here in the church. I'll lead the five decades of the Rosary each evening. And if you've got any prayer intentions or special requests for prayer that you want included in the rosary, please email them to me in the days ahead and we'll try to include some of those petitions each evening as we pray the rosary to our Blessed Mother for our well-being in these days, for her protection in this, her month of May. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness and our hope. 
thee do we cry for by these children of need. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning, weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of God in Jesus. The clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Holy Michael, our King, to defend us in the day of battle, we are safe guard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, our Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, for us down into hell, Satan, and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us. St. Joseph, the worker, pray for us. Holy Guardian Angels, 